Hello and welcome to lab number 8. In this lab we are going to learn more about optical filters. Optical filter is an important optical component that's being used to uh, filter light in many different ways and uh, according to that we can have different types of filters. We can have a broadband, narrowband filters, we can have natural density filters, we can have radiometric, photometric filters. So many different types of filters that are being used to filter light based on the, its wavelength or based on the intensity. In addition to optical filters that are going to be part of this lab, we are also going to learn a little bit about the color theory. We are going to see that colors can be primary colors and secondary colors. We will see that secondary colors can be produced from primary colors and uh, we are also going to learn a little bit about the color mixing. We will see that um, color mixing can either be additive or subtractive and we are going to demonstrate both additive and subtractive color mixing in this lab. So after completing this lab, you will be able to identify primary and secondary colors. You'll be able to list the results of color mixing and uh, fully understand how the color mixing is performed, be it a subtractive or additive color mixing. You will be able to demonstrate practically the additive and subtractive color mixing using optical filters. And finally, you will be able to list the common applications of uh, color mixing, subtractive and additive. The equipment that we are going to use in this lab consists of uh, six color filters. We have three primary color filters here, uh, the green, the blue and the red, and then three secondary color filters, yellow, cyan and magenta. And as light sources, we're going to use these three uh, flashlights that are part of your kit. You need uh, a total of uh, nine uh, AAA batteries to power them. We have here a laser holder that we are going to use uh, to hold these three uh, flashlights elevated from the paper. And finally, two plastic holders here that you are going to use to hold your back screen. Before you start doing this lab, you want to uh, power up your uh, three flashlights. So here's the flashlight. The way how you're going to uh, power it up is you need to, there's a, this cap here in the back that you have to open. And once you open this cap, you can uh, take the battery holder. You can see that this battery holder has a place for three AAA batteries. So you're going to use three AAA batteries that I'm going to install into this battery holder. So here's one. And then here's the second one. And then finally the third one. You want to make sure that you can see this uh, spring load here. There's a spring load inside of the battery holder. That's where your negative side of the, of the battery has to go. And this is how you're going to install your uh, three batteries. There's the arrow here, as you can see, that shows you how to uh, place this battery holder into your flashlight. So you want to make sure that the, the arrow points into the into the flashlight so that's how you're going to put it in and then finally you're going to put the cap back and then there's the uh, the push on button here that you push on switch that you press and see if it's working so you can see here that the flashlight is working properly so you want to repeat this for all three flashlights you have once we power the flashlights, we are going to install three filters onto the front side of the flashlight, each flashlight. So we are going to use the red and the green and the blue uh, filter. So now I'm going to be using tweezers here not to make these filters uh, dirty. So all you have to do is to place these filters onto the front of the, uh, of the flashlight and uh, push it in inside to, uh, to hold it in place. So this is going to be my first flashlight. And you're going to repeat the procedure for all three filters. So here I'm going to uh, place the green filter onto the second flashlight and push it in. And then finally, here's the third flashlight with the red filter. So after we installed the three filters onto the front side of the flashlights, the, the green and the blue and the red filter. The next uh, step is going to be to uh, place these uh, flashlights onto the uh, holder and then project them. After we installed three filters into our three flashlights, 
uh, we mounted these three flashlights onto the holder and then turned them on and then projecting the light onto the white screen in the back. Uh, what you can see is that a flashlight with a blue filter is sending only the blue light that's reflecting off of the white screen. So all the white light that uh, has been produced by this flashlight has been basically uh, blocked except for the blue color. So this blue filter blocked all different colors. We know that white light consists of all the colors in the visible spectrum. So all the colors except for the blue color have been blocked by this blue filter and the only light that you're seeing uh, coming out of this flashlight is the blue light that's hitting the white screen and it's being reflected and you can see here the, uh, the blue reflection. Uh, similar can be concluded for the flashlight with the green filter and for the fl flashlight with the red filter. So we see three distinct reflections here, one being the blue, another being the green and the third being the red color. Right now they're not mixing up. So the next part of experiment is to move some of these flashlights closer to each other and see what is going to happen when these colors start mixing. In other words, when we start adding these colors to each other. First uh, experiment, what we're going to do is with the red and the green. So if I uh, move these two uh, flashlights closer to uh, each other, let's see what's going to happen when uh, the green and the red start mixing. So you can see the overlap here. So we have uh, our red reflection that's coming off of the flashlight with a, with a red filter. And here's our green reflection. And you can see here that there's an overlap of the green and the red. Can you recognize what color this is? Obviously it's yellow. So what we are claiming here is that when you're mixing these two primary colors, the green and the red, using additive mixing, the red and then green are going to produce the yellow color, so the yellow color is considered the secondary color in additive uh, color mixing. Now you can repeat this experiment for the other two combinations, so you can mix the blue and the green and see what uh, color you're going to see in the overlap of the blue and the green, and finally you're going to do the blue and the red and see what secondary color you can produce by mixing the two primary colors, the blue and the red. And the last question I have for you is, what do you think is going to happen if we mix blue and then green and the red? We can try to do that here as well. So here's the mix of all three primary colors, the blue and the green and the red. You can see here the overlap. What are you observing? So the mix of the three primary colors, blue and the green and the red, gives us back the white light. So what you saw in the previous part of the lab, when we used the three flashlights, is so-called additive color mixing. The next part of the lab is going to explain so-called subtractive color mixing. So what we are going to do here is we are going to use just one flashlight. And obviously if you turn on this flashlight, you're going to be producing the white light. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these three secondary color filters. You can see that I have here yellow col yellow filter, right? So I have here yellow filter, I have a magenta, and finally a cyan, and all these three colors are so-called secondary colors. So if I take a magenta, I'm going to take a magenta here, and install it onto my, uh, onto my flashlight. So when I turn on the flashlight right now, what I'm producing at this point is a magenta, right? So the magenta is a secondary color, you know, and we know that magenta is uh, made out of two primary colors. Which, which uh, primary colors is magenta made out of? So the two primary colors that magenta is made out of is a blue and a red. Now, if I take a cyan filter and you put it over the magenta, now this cyan filter is also going to be, ha be having uh, filtering properties. A cyan is a secondary color and cyan is made out of a, a blue and a green. So if magenta that's been put first is made out of a blue and a red, the cyan is going to block the red because the cyan is made out of blue and green. So out of those first two colors that uh, have been filtered 
by uh, magenta, blue and red, the only color is that's going to be passed is blue because cyan is passing blue and green. We don't have a green because magenta already blocked it. So the only two colors that have been passed by the magenta, which is the blue and the red, is going to be the blue that's going to be passed by a cyan. So we are expecting here that uh, when we combine a cyan and magenta, the only color that's going to be passed through is going to be the primary color of blue. So let's check that. So if we turn on our flashlight and project it onto the screen, you can see that we are producing the blue color. So here's the blue. You can repeat this experiment with uh, other two combinations of these three uh, secondary colors. So you can combine a magenta and a yellow and see what primary color you're going to produce. And finally, you can comp also combine a cyan and a yellow and see what primary color you're going to produce. And finally, the last question that I will have for you is what if you combine all three of them? What kind of light you're going to be seeing coming out of your flashlight? And finally, as a last thought on this uh, lab, you want to uh, think about where additive and subtractive color mixing is applied. Mm -hmm.